Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Valinda, and this is my granddaughter, Janiah, AKA Two Hats. Um, <laughs> <laughs> tell the people hi, Janiah. Hey y'all, y'all go follow me on Instagram at Ionaya with three arms And what's your YouTube channel? Nike's, and my Snapchat is Janiah Keys 12 and my Facebook Nike keys. And my TikTok is not disappeared with three Ds. Okay, so y'all check my granddaughter out, but in today's video, we're gonna be doing this grocery haul. I went to Sam's, my local grocery store, and I think that's it. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I got. All right, guys, I'm gonna start over here with some cold stuff so I can get in the refrigerator. I got some of this Shave Blend Asiago uh, Parmesan and Romano Cheese. Um, this is a 1.75 pound, one pounds. And I saw this and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do so much with this. I'm going to be doing a Shrimp Alfredo. And I'm gonna share that so I see some more YouTubers use this, so I decided to give that a try. I also pick up my Timbuk cheese. You know, I always pick this up. Sam is the cheapest place to find this. Um, it was less than ten dollars for this big block, and as you can see, it's two and a half pounds. Uh, cream cheese, same thing with cream cheese and butter. Sam is the cheapest place you're gonna find it other than Costco. I don't have a Costco here, so Sam Club is closest to me, but you get the six pack of eight ounce bars cream cheese. And I don't, I should've got my receipt so I could tell you guys how much this stuff is, but I forgot. Uh, I got this salted sweet cream butter and you get four of these and I believe this was like $14 or something, $15 which is a good deal. I also picked up a gallon of 2% milk and I picked up some organic cage free eggs. These eggs was I think they were like $7 almost $8 and you get a 24 pack. That was the cheapest I have seen. They have no added hormones and free of antibiotics. And they are large eggs. I like to use red eggs in my cooking. So if anybody local have some red eggs that you want to sell or give me, if you give me some, I will make you a pound cake or something else sweet. But if you are local and you know anybody have some eggs or you have eggs and you want to give me some, just hit me up in the description box. I have my email. You can email me and uh, we will make that happen. I also picked up two packs of chicken. I picked up a uh, some drumsticks that was $4.78. And let's see how many pounds this is. Uh, this uh, I don't know how many pounds it is, guys. I don't see where it's on there. Oh, it's on that part. So it was four, four eighty. No, it's not eight cents per pound. So it was four point eighty-eight pounds. So got the legs, and they are not real big. I don't like big chicken, so got those. And then I got some chicken thighs. I have been liking these baked and also I've been liking them in my chicken dumplings. I took half of them out to, I got them boiling. I'm gonna make a chicken dumpling. And so this is um, raised cage free. Also no antibiotics. And that was six, 25 and it was a dollar 38 a pound, which is a good buy. I got some golden potatoes. I got this at Raimi's and that's a five pound bag. And I paid, I believe that was $3.99, $3 something for that. I picked up some of this artisan bread from Sam's. I've been seeing people haul this and I said, well, let me give it a try. One thing, um, the lady that I looked at, she was talking about how thick it is and I didn't realize it was so thick. So I am planning to do some uh, patty melts 
grilled cheese, you know, all kinds of stuff. She did a a tuna melt, and that sounded good, so I may try that. But anyway, it's two loaves, and it was like a little over $5. I'm going to turn you around and show you what else we got. All right, guys, now we're going to do the fruit and vegetables. I have some bananas, some onions. I got some of these honey, honey crisp apples, and that's the sweet meter. I got some blueberries. I'm trying some of these golden kiwis. I picked up some greens, collard greens. I'm gonna cook for my Sunday dinner. Picked this up at the local grocery store. I also picked up some green peppers. I'm gonna cut some up and freeze them and then I'm gonna do probably about two of them, three of them. I'm gonna do some garib and more some stuffed peppers. So, I'm gonna do that. All right, guys, if y'all hear anything, that's the oven going and my friend comes in the background, if y'all hear anything. Oh, you fine, daughter. So, I picked up some different corn muffin mix. Picked up some pineapples. I've been wanting some pineapples, so I picked up some. And I think it's probably the cheaper you'll find them. I think it was like $5 or something for this four can. Also, this was cheap too. It was like three fifteen for that, so I always get that. And at certain recipes I fix, I use Jiffy. Uh, my enchilada pie, that's what I use in Jiffy. I picked up some of this Smart Pop at the local grocery store. I had got Kilani some of these last week, and she, uh, she went on and on and on about how good they were. Man, it is popcorn. is so good. So I picked up some of those for her to snack on. She come or the other grandkids, whoever wants some. And then I picked up some K-Cups, the community. This was $40 a box almost. But you get 80 K-Cups in there. And then I got some ginger ale, 24 pack of ginger ale, 24 pack of Pepsi. Gary. I drink ginger ale sometimes from nauseated, but mostly Gary drank this. Uh, Canada dry ginger ale and Pepsi is my jam. Then I picked up some sugars. I was low on my powdered sugar, so I picked up a bag of that. I picked up just some regular granulated sugar. It got a hole in it. That's why I got it in this bag. I got to transfer it to the container. I picked up some Ajo gravy to do a Mississippi roast. And I will be recording that for my channel. I picked up this Mrs. Dash Salt Free. I did the garlic and herb in it because I'm having a hard time finding the McCormick garlic and herb that I love to use that I'm always talking about. So I decided to give this a try. It sort of looked a lot like the one that I used in the McCormick. So I picked that up. I also picked up a container of this taco seasoning. I like to use it. I do my taco soup with it. Tacos, a lot of soups call for this. My enchilada pie call for that. So it was cheaper to get it this way. And then I have a few non um, food items. I picked up some bounce. And this is the twin pack. And you'll get 160 per box, so that's 320 sheets. I picked up some toilet tissue, the 45 Lord's Roll, and I picked up this book right here for Kilani. It is a create and face. I thought she would really like that. And um, got the little stuff, she can decorate the girl's face. I just turned some of the pages and you can see and you can just dress them up. And I thought that was so pretty. I know when I was little, I used to love to play with the paper dolls. Who who remember the paper dolls back in the day? You can they was made out of paper, and you you, you could dress them up and all different kinds. So leave me a leave me a comment down below if you remember that. Then you were born in the seventies or eighties. Cause that's when that uh, came out, but that was such a fun, so I thought she would really enjoy this. 
Okay, guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys real soon in another video. Bye, guys.